Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, another episode in our series of the Occult Baby Challenge, and really a continuation of the last episode, because last time we had our island babies, also why we have our tropical leaf here, and uh, we started making amends for all the people that we've wronged, really all the people that Lexi has wronged. We already made up with Santa, he's back in the house, he's back a part of all of our kids' lives, and now, well, well, we'll take care of the babies quickly first, but then let's go ahead and start making amends with the rest of our boyfriends here. Vlad is still hanging out here for some reason. Luckily, Santa's the best. I feel like he doesn't really get too jealous. He did get a little sad, that's fair, but... Now he's not even bothered that the vampire's in here, you know, using his computer. Still working on getting Neville and Hermione's grades up. Please do your homework and work on your skills like a good little wizard. Hermione's just out here in the dark on the monkey bars. Alright, well as much as I do appreciate that, Hermione, let's do your homework. See, I feel like Hermione's very playful. I feel like Neville, if anything, he's the more kind of like studious one. Hermione just wants to play with her doll and go on the monkey bars and have fun. Santa's in here giving, who is this? Noelle, oh my gosh, I forgot her name. We only have six of them, and I already can't remember their names. Noelle, a little bath, and then everyone's hungry, so let's maybe pop his cream tarts in the fridge so they don't go bad. Where's Vlad? Is Vlad flying to eat the baby? Vlad, don't eat the baby. Lexi, can you deal with this situation, please? Oh, wait, he's bouncing the baby. Oh, that's actually really cute. I didn't really have Vlad pegged for like the paternal type, but I don't know, maybe he is. Maybe Lexi's changed him a little bit and now he's open to having his own kids. I think actually our next dad will be Vlad, so if you have any suggestions for vampire baby names, let me know. Um, and what should we give him? Ha, a tome of emotional stability. You know, I feel like that's not really a joke to like make amends, it's more of a joke to get in another fight. But a voodoo doll, on the other hand, that seems like something that Vlad would very much enjoy. Vlad, where did you go now? Please stop disappearing in a puff of smoke as soon as I try to do something nice for you. I would very much appreciate it. And now he's really keeping us at arm's length. Vlad, I try and try and it's just difficult, honestly. This relationship is just difficult, Vlad. But luckily Santa's here to take care of the baby while we have our awkward staring contest with the vampire in the same room. And he's gone again. Lexi, can you just give him the present already? Just give him the present. Make amends. It's not that hard. I know he's a pain in the butt sometimes. But okay, he seems happy. Levitated the present out of the baby's room. A voodoo doll. OMG. Oh, he loves it. Ha, I knew he would love it. You make my day so much better. Oh, thanks, Vlad. Guys, I think we've actually broken through to Vlad. Like, he is not a pleasant, he is not a pleasant guy. But I think we've actually got through to him, which is really kind of nice, as long nosed as his children will likely be. I'm glad that he's in our life again. All right, so, two down. Made amends with Santa, we made amends with Vlad. All right, everyone go to bed. Santa, go kick Vlad off of the bed. Say, hey, I live here. You need to leave, buddy. Girls are eating. Babies are happy. Everything's going smoothly so far. Easy peasy. And now she's playing with toys. Okay, so I feel like Hermione's definitely more creative. Like, she likes music. She likes playing with her toys. It's really cute how Nick and Hermione are just out here playing together. Aw. I love it. And then I feel like Neville's a little more nerdy, a little more studious. Like he likes being on the computer, he likes playing video games. So yeah, so it'll be really interesting to see what they're like when they're older. Well Nick, if you're so tired, why don't you just go to bed then, buddy, instead of sitting on the floor? You're already in your pajamas. All you have to do is go in the other room. All right, there you go. Actually, those I can tell his walk in slippers like that. It seems like he already doesn't walk that good. We don't need to make it harder for the poor little guy. And everyone's asleep. I love this time, except for the babies. But don't even worry, Santa's on it. Santa, can you please wake up and take care of the babies? He's in his heart underwear again. All right, we have to give Santa a different outfit because I'm tired of seeing him walking around in heart underwear. It's just inappropriate, Santa. We have six kids. 
and Cass. Let's give him some long pajama pants. After all, he is Father Winter, so needs some warmth. And then maybe a nice pajama shirt to match. Do we have one that matches? No. Why is it a different plaid? That doesn't make any sense. All right, that looks terrible. Maybe just a red. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Santa hat, beautiful. Okay, much more appropriate wear for Father Christmas here. Then he changes out of it anyways. But Father Christmas is such a good dad. Look, in he look at him in here, just checking on the kids, tucking them in while everyone else is asleep. He got the babies happy again. Now he... Ah, uh, he's, he's feeling adoring towards the toddlers. Honestly, he's the best dad. All right, and Hermione's having a nightmare. Don't worry, Hermione, Father Christmas is on it. Go get him. He's already awake. Ooh, that is creepy. Look at those tentacle arms. Ah. Father Christmas, you get the babies, and then Lexi, you get the nightmare. We're gonna have to divide and conquer this. Okay, great. Now they're up. Yes, Lexi, please go help her out. Lexi's just, you know, I don't think parenting comes as naturally to her as it does to Father Christmas. Uh, she's working on it. She is getting a lot better, but she's still a little bit confused sometimes. All right, but there we go. No more monster. Aha. That's how you get rid of a monster. You say, aha, no more monster here. All right, Hermione, back to bed with you, please. You have to go to school and get your grade up tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, so Hermione's a B student. She's still level two and everything, so she needs to get more skills up as well. Neville, how are you doing? You're very rested, so get up then. You can go do something else. Um, he's a C student. How is he still a C student? Has he not gone to school like multiple days now? Neville, I don't know what you're doing. Go get some food, and then you're gonna work hard at school today. And our Santa twins are also awake. Oh man, when they're all awake like this, it's hard to keep track of them. But don't worry, Lexi's in here with them. They all seem to be frozen. Are you guys trapped in there? Well, they freed themselves. Okay, so Lexi and Father Christmas are out here just having breakfast, and it's love day. So before the kids go to school, I'm thinking maybe they should give like a daisy or something to their mom, because that'll be cute. All right, so Neville's going to come over and give his mom a daisy for love day. Like an adorable little wizard son. He's like, hey mom, I got you something. I spent $24 on it, please don't be mad. Lexi, are you gonna say something nice back? What, are you kidding me? Your son gets you a beautiful flower for love day and you give him a thumbs down and yell at him? I don't know, Lexi, maybe you and Vlad deserve each other, because honestly, you're both kind of hard to get along with. Now, Hermione's going to give a flower to Father Christmas. Father Christmas, do you like it? All right, well, Hermione looks happier, so I guess he did like it. See, honestly, Father Christmas is just the best, as much as he does glitch in and out of the cabinets. He's a sweet guy, and he's a good dad. Unlike Lexi, who just tells her son she hates his present. Okay. Lexi, we'll work on it, don't you worry. But the kids are off to school, they're both gonna study hard. And Lexi, why don't you go and maybe apologize to the other dads. Just a whole string of apologies. Now we're gonna have to apologize to Neville too. Let's go ahead and apologize to Ruin next. And maybe we'll take him on a date somewhere kind of fun where we can hang out. All right, so since he's an island sim, we came to the beach. And let's go ahead and talk to him a little bit and then give him his apology present. It is love day, so I guess at least this is a good day to be doing this. Let's give Ru a rose for love day. We have one in here, something nice and romantic. There we go. Bought a rose for all of our boyfriends. Although I guess it is really just making things worse that we're making amends with all of them, but you know, we don't want any of them to feel bad. They're all special to us. What, and he's giving us a thumbs down too? Maybe Sims just don't like flowers, but if they don't like flowers, why is that our objective for Love Day? All right, well, we'll give him something else that he likes more. Actually, I think we caught this tiger frog when we were on our date with him in Sulani, uh, back when we conceived his kids, actually. Now he's just un unhappy in general. So let's maybe give him a frog, and he maybe he'll like that better, since he is in tune with nature and the islands and everything. You like the frog, Rua? Right, apparently not. He really hates the frog, in fact. 
but uh, we tried, honestly, and our love bar is still really high with him, and he's on to talk about basketball, so I think we're good. Let's go ahead and make amends with somebody else. We're not going to bring Rua because we know that's a recipe for disaster. Um, instead, let's go visit Daryl, our original love and we owe him an apology as well. Plus, then we can meet um, his family, who is technically our kids, I guess aunts, I think those two are. And then uh, we can invite them to our kids party when the wizard kids are ready to age up. So we'll just give them all a nice cheerful hello, and then let's go on and go inside their new house. I did have to move them into a less grand house because we had to bulldoze our other one to make room for Hogwarts. But you know, that's part of being a wizard, you have to make sacrifices. We'll give him a, what do we give him? A turquoise, an emerald? I just clicked on one of the gems. Hopefully he likes it, it's a fun wizardy thing. That looks like turquoise. So you like it, Daryl? Okay, he likes it. Well that's good, because all of Lexi's presents have been going over terribly today. And he's also back to watching sports. All right, well then we'll just give him a hug and move on. So Daryl, no hard feelings. Who else do we have to go see? So we already saw Daryl, Vlad, Rua, Clement. We only have Flux Capacitor left. Okay, then let's take Flux out for lunch maybe. All right, so I added some new restaurants to this world here. So we'll go explore more of them later. Um, but we have, we won't take the McDonald's, that would just be rude. Uh, Sakikura. I don't know what that means, but this is kind of like a Japanese style restaurant, I think. All right, Flux Capacitor, hello. This restaurant's beautiful. We'll definitely have to come back here at some point. We'll give him a robot salvage part. Cause you know, he's a robot, right? He probably needs to rebuild parts of himself occasionally. Is that super awkward? Like giving a human a like, chopped off arm or something and saying, hey, or happy love day. All right, well, hopefully he likes it. He's shocked. Oh my God, it's a chopped off arm. Aw, but he likes it, and now Lexi has a great reputation, ironically. I guess people like it when you apologize to them, even if you caused the problem in the first place yourself. Well, our relationship with Flux is still good, which is important because she actually still needs to be a future dad, and you know what, Flux Capacitor, we just don't, we have to pee, we're just gonna go home. All right, so Father Winter's in here with all the kids. He seems to be doing a good job, except for Nick starving, but other than that, he's doing great. Noelle's in here learning about tanks and storming the castle, but you know, for Santa is important. You have to know how to get into all sorts of buildings. Aw, but Nick's having a very, very bad day. He's very sad. It's okay, Nick. I know Father Winter didn't take care of your food needs, apparently. And he's over here trying to steal her mini cereal. You can't steal her cereal. She's literally eating it right now. Go get some mac and cheese, please. Poor little guy and has to walk all the way back to the other side of the house, but... Ryan is happy. She's like, at least I get to eat my cereal. All right, so Noelle, go work on your talking because you're almost done with some of your other skills. And then Lexi's asleep. And uh, okay, Father Winter's finally giving Nick some love after his rough day. Aw, and Father Winter's playing with Nick. All right, I know exactly what we have to do because Nick has an elf outfit. So let's put Nick into his elf outfit and then this is going to be adorable. And also probably the thumbnail for this video. So if you guys have already seen this, that's why. Oh, that's so cute. Look at them go. Hopefully Noelle doesn't feel left out. Aw, oh, look at him with his little elf. Oh, it's almost Lilo and Kai's birthdays. Perfect, and we'll have more toddlers. So we need to get all the rest of these kids aged up. But anyways, so I'm gonna leave this here for today. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you next time.